have a flat back or are you wondering if you have a flat back and are you perhaps suffering from pains that may result from it like lower back pain or upper back pain or neck pain then keep watching today what you're going to get out of the session are at least two things number one let's figure out what a flat back is and number two let's look at ways on how to fix the pain perhaps heal it and help you feel better my name is Chi, and you're welcome to Cheese Yoga. Open your eyes and you will see. Today you will need a few props. That means, number one, a towel. A small towel. Then, number two, a small pillow. And number three, a bigger blanket or a bolster, so that would be great. If you think those props are great, just write great props further below in the comment section. If you think those are just a bit too many props, then just write too many props so that I'll use less in future videos. So let's first figure out what a flat bag is. Please hold on to your bag, move the props to the side. and stretch out the legs. I want you to check a few things before we get started. Number one, feel your heels on the ground, your pelvis, and the back of your head. Is your head comfortable? Is the neck comfortable? Do you feel comfortable in the neck? Or are you perhaps a bit more like this, overstretched and you feel some neck pain, then use the small pillow and keep this under your head, nicely supported, find the right height for you, this is a bit high for me but maybe the right height for you, to be very honest I don't need a pillow but I'm quite certain that you may need one, so check and find out the right height for your head and the neck, for the neck to be comfortable. So the second thing I want you to figure out is your lower back. With your legs straight, do you actually feel comfortable along your lower back? Does your back feel comfortable and does that feel nice? Does that feel nice along your hips and the lower back? Or does it feel better to bend the knees? And it's quite obvious. So if you feel, wow, here I can really relax and my lower back feels great, then you clearly do not have a flat back. If you think, hmm, this actually feels better with my legs straight, then you may have a flat back, but that also depends on the storage facility. So if you feel okay, then the sequence may be for you. If you feel both is actually fine, then you may just be normal and have a normal curve and you clearly can do the sequence too. But if you feel absolutely more comfortable with your knees bent, then the sequence is not for you, all right? So a second test is actually to bend the knees and to turn the palms up. And as you feel the back, take the fingers and try to move the fingers through the gap below the lower back. Now, Please don't arch the back or flatten the back, just stay in this, it's called a neutral pelvic tilt, it's, it's a neutral curve, that means you're just in a normal way, the normal way you are. So in this position, try to push the fingers through the gap under your lower back. Now if you can almost push the fingers through the gap, then you may have a normal lower back 
like a normal lumbar curve. If you can even move the fingers, the palm, and almost the forearm through the gap, then you may be hyperextended and this is clearly not your sequence. And if you cannot push anything, if your spine is fully on the ground and if you have a hard time even just to get um, the, the, the fingertip through the gap, then you are flat back. Okay, so this is your sequence and we can get started. So, if you have questions about this test, please let me know in the comment section below, below here, and let me know what you think. Oh, test too complicated, test simple, okay, got it, just let me know so that I know how to give you those tests for you to get really a personalized approach to your yoga. What we need now is the bolster or the bigger blanket. Wrap it up tightly, so that it's quite firm. I'm sure you can see this. Now, you will keep this bolster or blanket under the sacrum. Now, where is the sacrum? The sacrum is between the buttocks and the lower back. The simple test is if you bring your middle finger to the tailbone, okay? If your middle finger touches the tailbone, your sacrum rests on your palm, okay? And that is where the sacrum is. So middle finger to the tailbone, to the coccyx, and then your pelvis rests on the sacrum. That is your sacrum. So that's where I want you to place this blanket. So it's clearly not the lower back. Be careful not to move too close to the lower back. And it's not the edge, the buttocks. So it's really in between. And the best test is really, like I said, bring the middle finger to the tailbone and then rest the palm against the lower back and that is your sacrum. So, at this point, settle in, extend the legs, stretch them out, and let go. So for those of you with flat bags, this may be super comfortable. You may get a great stretch along the front of the hips. You may get a nice sensation along the lower back. You feel the back of your head on the pillow or on the carpet, on the mat, and you just let go. Settle in, feel your heels on the ground. You can close your eyes for a few moments. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground and breathe in and out. Let your forehead soften and spread and try to breathe through the nose in and out. Take a few deep breaths into the belly. Notice how your belly softens with every exhalation. And notice how the belly bulges when you breathe in. So all this is going on at the same time. And as you do all that, relax the forehead. Let the corners of your eyes soften and spread. Let the corners of the lips soften and spread. And enjoy the lengthening and the sensations going on along the front of the body and the back of the body. At this point, notice that the thoughts come and go. If you are wandering around and your mind is drifting off, just let the thoughts come and go again and get back to the breath, observing your breath, 
Noticing the breath coming in waves and breathing in and out. We'll stay here for five breaths. And if you're a bit more experienced, you can release the breath into the legs. That means you kind of exhale down the legs. You push the out breath down the legs towards the knees. The last three breaths. And with the next exhalation, gently dismantle the poles, bend the knees, bring your big toes, the little toes, and the heels on the ground. Notice the changes going on. And with the next inhalation, lift the buttocks off the ground and slide this pillow or the bolster to the side. Turn the palms up, move the shoulder blades a bit closer together and keep the back of your head on the ground and lift the buttocks a bit higher. Keep the big toes, the little toes and your heels on the ground. Keep breathing in and out, activating the glutes and pushing the hips higher and we stay here for three breaths. With every exhalation you want to Push the hips a bit higher and with the inhalation, you let go. Let's do this a few times. Exhalation, pushing the hips a bit higher and inhale, letting go. The final breath. And then gently dismantle the pulse. Move the shoulder blades out vertebra by vertebra round the back and slowly get the spine back down until the buttocks touches the mat last. Notice the sensation along the lower back. Take a few deep breaths into the belly. Move the heels closer to the buttocks. If your knees are healthy, move them as close as you can. If you have weak knees, Bend, keep an open angle so that you don't hurt your knees. For the next exhalation, separate the legs, the right leg pointing to the right and the left leg to the left. You can separate your arms a little bit wider too. And then check in with your hips. What does that feel like? Do you get a gentle stretch or would you even call it a pull more than a discomfort? Do you feel you can stay here for, well, let's say longer than a minute or two? Let me show you something you can do to make the stretch along the inner thighs, the hip adductors, ADD, the inner thigh muscles a little bit nicer, gentler, and more gentle and a bit more pleasing and comfortable. So you can use the pillows or the blanket and push it under your thigh buttocks area. So kind of like this. And you will notice that the stretch is a bit softer, not as intense and you can perhaps relax here a bit longer. So let's stay here for a few breaths, palms facing up, feeling the back of your head on the ground and releasing the breath into the hips. We stay here for three breaths, exhalation into the hips, noticing the stretch setting in and settling in and more lengthening along the inner thigh muscles. The last two breaths, letting your forehead soften and spread and with the next exhalation, gently and carefully move the knees together. Move those props out of the way. And then take the knees all the way to the left side. Keep the knees together, the thighs together, and then separate your arms. And just notice the ringing of the spine. Taking a few deep breaths into the spine, into the backside. 
Notice what your hips feel like, your shoulders feel like, your forehead feels like, your jaw feels like. Noticing the beautiful sensation. Breathing in and out. And with the next exhalation, gently bring the knees back to the center, to the midline. Take a moment to notice the sensation. And then with the next exhalation, move the knees to the other side. Find a comfortable position on the side and then Move your arms into a T, palms facing up. And notice the sensation along the back side, breathing in and out. Keeping a smile on the lips and noticing what's going on. Noticing the beautiful sensation, letting the forehead soften and spread and you stay here for the last two breaths. Breathing in and breathing out. And with the next exhalation, gently dismantle the pulse. Bring your feet back to the midline and lie on the back. Take a moment to stretch the legs out. Feel the sensation along the back as you get to the final stretch for the backs of the thighs, the hamstrings, and now we need the towel. So as you inhale, you lift the left leg up. So perhaps it's difficult for you to get it as high as I get my leg, but that's fine. Even if it's here or it's bent, that's absolutely okay. That's why we have the towel. So inhalation. Hold the towel. So the towel is not in the center of the foot, more towards the first third, so the ball of the foot. So slowly, like a little bit behind the ball of the foot and then you pull the both sides of the towel as close to the foot as possible okay so your shoulder blades stay relatively relaxed on the ground and as you inhale you lift the ball of the foot up yes so as you lift the ball of the foot up, the shoulder blades and your arms, they pull down towards the ground. So notice that dynamic going on. I know you can feel the difference. At the same time, keep the right leg on the ground. So if it bends, it's fine. Try to straighten the right knee even more. Keep the heel on the ground and flex the right foot. Fantastic work. Breathing in and out for two and one. With the next exhalation, Push the heel up, the left heel up towards the ceiling. Yes, we're getting the calf muscles into the equation. And we stay here for three breaths, breathing in and out. For two breaths and for one breath. As you exhale, you take both sides of the towel into the right hand and you move your leg across towards the right side. And you stay here for a few breaths, breathing in and out for three. Keeping a smile on the lips for two and for one. As you exhale, gently move the leg back to the midline and then stretch it out and let go. Mm. Just feel the sensation all over the left leg and compare it to the right leg. Breathing in and out, noticing what's going on in the body. And with the next inhalation, gently and carefully lift the right leg up. Use the towel. And pull the towel as close to your foot as possible. Try to keep the shoulder blades on the ground. Keep the left heel on the ground. Keep straightening the left knee. And then lifting the right ball of the foot towards the ceiling. So it's pushing the ball of the foot up towards the ceiling, noticing what's going on in the back of the thigh. At the same time, don't allow the foot to pull your shoulders up, but the shoulder blades pulling down and your arms pulling down. Two breaths here, breathing in and out. Keeping a smile on the lips and one. Exhalation, switch and lift the right heel up towards the ceiling. Keep breathing into the back of the thigh. Keep a smile on the lips. And you stay here for two. 
and for one. With the next exhalation, take the towel into the left hand exclusively and move the right leg across towards the left side and feel the back of your head on the ground. You don't have to go too far. It's really just, let me say 10%, 10 degrees, 15 degrees and work on straightening the knee, perhaps you're trembling for three, two, and one. With the next exhalation, gently dismantle the pulse, stretch out the leg, separate your arms, palms facing up. And at this point, absolutely let go. You can close your eyes, feel the sensation all over the legs. Feel the sensation all over the back and the neck and the shoulders. Take a few deep breaths and keep releasing the breath into the legs. Enjoy the sensation. Let your forehead soften and spread and relax the jaw, relax the throat. Stay here for a little while. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Have a lovely day. You're gonna see. If you want personalized sequences for your specific health condition, then come on over to thebodyconditioner.com and do your online quiz. The online quiz is a personalized body assessment that helps me see your body and then assess it and then send you personalized, customized sequences for your specific body. What do you have to lose except your pain? If you like what I do, please click like and subscribe down here. Please click that notification bell up there to get notified anytime I send a new sequence. And please share this video with every person you feel may benefit from it.